Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today I've got a grocery haul. It's been a little while, so I hope you stick around. And I'm going to give you some of the macros on some of the items to see if you might be interested in getting them yourself. So stick around. Okay, today I'm gonna to start with the frozen actually. Um, just to kind of get it out of the way. And there were a lot of new items that I got. Well, a few. Um, but there were a lot of sales, a lot of things on sale that I wouldn't normally buy. But since they were on sale, you know how it is. <laughs> so let's start with the Frozen. Um, I get this pretty often, probably pretty much every grocery delivery I get. Um, I like to have this in the freezer. I roast this right from Frozen. I know you've heard me mention that many times. It's delicious. So in case I don't have a fresh vegetable or I just feel like having cauliflower, this is what I like to do. Then these I've bought in the past and they're pretty good. They're kind of my backup when I don't know what else to serve as a side dish. But they were on sale this week, so I did pick up two. It was a really good sale. For a half cup serving, it's 70 calories. And it is two grams of fiber, which is pretty good. So it makes it seven net carbs and two proteins. Um, what I usually do, and I think I've mentioned this before, I will make the whole box, split it in half between my husband and I. And I do dress these up a little bit. Sometimes I'll add just a tiny bit of butter, maybe some chives or green onion. Um, sometimes it needs a little extra salt, just a pinch and some black pepper. And I'm sure this one's probably close to the same. Oh no, this one's even lower. Wow, wonder why. Let's see. Oh, because it's just roasted garlic. It doesn't have the sour cream in it. So for this, half a cup is 45 calories, one protein, two fibers. So that makes it five net carbs. And I'll do the same thing with this one. I would probably dress it up a little and maybe add some light, light sour cream. I like to buy this pre-cooked shrimp. And what I do with this, I don't really cook with this kind of shrimp. But I just defrost this for a quick lunch and I'll make up some of my own cocktail sauce. It is so good and so much protein in shrimp. It's amazing and low in calories. So let's look at the macros. So for these, five shrimp is 50 calories, 12 grams of protein. And it's hard to see, but it says one gram of protein. And these are so good when you just defrost them. You don't have to cook them, and I like my shrimp cocktail very cold, so I leave them in the fridge after they've defrosted, just for a little while. It's so good, such a good source of protein. Now these say five. Sometimes I will have like seven, um, you know, depending on how much protein I need and how many calories I have for lunch, but that's still not a bad amount of calories for the amount of protein you get. This was another thing that I saw on sale. Now, I never have bought these. I can't say if they taste good. They just looked really interesting. And again, I'm always looking for side dishes. Sometimes I just want to quick something. I don't want to have to roast it in the oven or saute it or do any of that stuff. So these are just steamed in your microwave. But let's go over the macros for these. So again, these were on sale. That's why I got them. And just to try something different. So this one they're calling the healthy weight one, lightly sauced. And you can see it looks like there's carrots, sugar snap peas, which I love, black beans and edamame. So it's gotta have some protein in it. Let's check it out. Okay, so for one cup, and there's two servings in this, so it's perfect for my husband and I. Um, for one cup, it's 90 calories five grams of protein that's amazing and i'm sure it's from the beans and the edamame it's got six grams of fiber which means that's seven net carbs which i think is pretty good and i don't know what the sauce tastes like obviously i've never tried it um you know i'm a little always a little leery at things that are sauced for me 
Um, I guess I'm a little picky about it. So we'll see how this is gonna taste. And this other one is, again, lightly sauced garden vegetable medley. So there's roasted potatoes, sugar snap peas, red peppers, and garden herbs. Interesting. Let's see what the macros are on this one. Again, it's two servings per container. So for a one cup serving, it's 70 calories. It's got two grams of fiber, so that's 12 net carbs and only two grams of protein. That's okay. But I think that these are a little lower in calories, probably because of the black beans, even though it has potatoes in it. But of course, it's a little higher in carbs. Again, that's okay, but I think it's for 70 calories for one cup. I think that's pretty good. Again, don't know how the sauce is going to be, but we're going to give it a try. And here's the last frozen item, Yasso bars, my favorite. My very favorite flavor is the chocolate peanut butter one. Delicious. I already know they're 100 calories each. The macros for one bar is five grams of protein. It's got 14 net carbs and like I mentioned, 100 calories. These are so good. So give these a try if you need a little more protein in your dessert. And honestly, sometimes we eat dinner kind of late and I'm not super hungry for a dessert, but I just want a little something. This is perfect. Next are some dairy items. So I got feta cheese. Let's see the macros on that. I get the regular full fat. If they have reduced fat, I will get that, but they don't always have that one. But for a quarter of a cup, it is four grams of protein, one carb, and 70 calories. This is one of my favorites. So I get it pretty often. I don't use it very often actually, so I get the smaller container, but it's delicious. And then some cottage cheese. I get the low fat one by Daisy. And I do like the good culture, but for me, it's a little harder to find. And I actually like the Daisy one pretty well. It has a little more, I guess you could say liquid to it. And I just put like a big heaping tablespoon <laughs> in my eggs in the morning, or I will actually spread it on toast or like wasa crackers as an extra protein source. But I really like it. So I'm glad that I like this one since I can't always find the other one. And for half a cup, which I very rarely use, but it's 90 calories. It's 13 grams of protein. That's amazing. Sorry, I'm shaking. Five carbs. So yeah, I always have this in my fridge. I have a little bit left from the last grocery haul, so I just have to replace that. Next up, my favorite tzatziki, yay. <laughs> For like, I don't know, it seemed like a month they didn't have it and I was so upset about it. I'm like a little obsessed with it as I mentioned before, but it's so delicious. And now I've gotten used to the flavor that I hardly ever make my own. Um, I actually bought dill and you'll see that when I get over to the produce, but just in case they didn't have it, I wanted to be able to make my own. And I always have the Faja yogurt in my refrigerator. My husband just went to Costco and got me a big one. So I can easily even add a little bit of yogurt to this if I want to and a little extra dill. Hardly ever do that, but because this is just so good on its own. And the macros for this is two tablespoons, it's 35 calories. See why I like it? But it tastes really good too. And two grams of protein and three carbs. But so yummy. And I guess you can't really call this dairy because it's a processed cheese. But the reason I buy this, and I don't normally get the 24 slices. I don't know if this was a substitution or maybe I did it by mistake. But of course, this lasts forever. <laughs> but we like to grill burgers on the grill in the summer, of course. And I like to have this cheese. It melts. It's low in calories. No fuss, no muss. Occasionally I'll have like real Swiss cheese and you'll see that I bought some when we get to the other side of the counter, but this is good in a pinch and it's also my favorite on tuna melts. That's another summer thing that I like to have. 
So one slice is 35 calories, three grams of protein, and three grams of carbs. And the last dairy item are just some egg whites. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I make one egg and a quarter cup of egg whites almost every morning, either in a quesadilla, just an omelet, anything. But I like to add the egg whites for the added protein. So let's see how much protein actually. So in three tablespoons, and again, I use quarter of a cup, so it's gonna be a little more. It's five grams of protein and only 25 calories. This is something I'm gonna try as a new dessert. I know this looks kind of decadent, but I did see somebody do this. I think she did a little bit different. She used the, the kind of jello or pudding that you cook, but I thought I'd just make it even easier and use these cups and take one of these graham crackers, just put the pudding in there, add some fat-free whipped cream, and I think it's gonna be delicious. So let me share the macros with you. So for one of these crusts, it's 100 calories, one gram of protein, and of course the carbs are gonna be high, 13 carbs. But obviously I'm not gonna have this every day. This is not something you can do. Well, I should say that I can't do. So this will definitely be a special treat. And let's see the macros. I got the dark chocolate. I think that's all they had. But um, these are 60 calories for each cup, two grams of protein, one gram of fiber, and that would be 10 net carbs. So what is that? 160 plus I think it's 10 for the Ready Whip. So that's 170 calories for a um, dessert. Not very high in protein. I have to try to figure out how I can add a little more protein, but definitely going to give this a try. I think I'm going to leave the produce for last. I want to get these in the freezer and refrigerator too. This is the meat. So here was the biggest deal from my grocery store. If you bought this big chicken breast, which was on sale, you bought this big one and you got five items free. So one of the items was those peppers <laughs> that I'm going to show you. So you bought, you could buy peppers. So that was two. So I bought one of each. One of them I ordered just separately because I wanted three. And then you got a zucchini and you got the yellow squash for free. And another item, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I have stopped buying these. The texture on them was kind of weird, but for the price and the deal, I wanted to give it a try. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to split these long ways and then I'm going to pound them thin and see if the texture is a little bit better on that. So we're going to give that a try. Couldn't pass up that deal. <laughs> And my favorite Shady Brook Farms ground turkey. I get the 93% lean. It's just my favorite. I buy it every week without a plan necessarily. I will make a meat sauce for spaghetti. I will cook it up with a little taco seasoning. I make turkey meatloaf. I make meatballs. I just love it. So, of course, that's a good source of protein. Then over here are some pork chops and I see they must have made a substitution because I wanted the no bone, but maybe that isn't a bone. I don't know. It's fine either way. And then I bought some flank steak, which I don't do all the time. I feel like it's another summer kind of thing. What I'm going to do is marinate this, have my husband grill it, and we're going to have some fajitas. We'll have plenty of meat left over. This is a pretty big piece and that's fine. Or I might cut it in half depending and freeze one half and have him cook one half, but it's going to be delicious. I haven't had fajitas in quite a while, but those you can make very, very uh, calorie friendly and um, you can kind of add what you want, what you like, leave out what you don't like. <laughs> it's going to be a delicious dinner. And of course, I always buy the Purdue chicken breasts that are individually wrapped. These are the ones I really like. And again, I'm not so sure about the other ones. I wanted to definitely have chicken breasts 
and I put these in my freezer so there'll be no problem if I have a lot of chicken it's fine okay if you're like me and you watch social media I know you've seen people drinking this and I was kind of skeptical for a very long time and then you know the sale gets me in the store and I really just wanted to give it a try I seem to have this pattern in the summer of wanting to drink besides my water and I drink extra water in the summer something more flavored so I just wanted to give this a try and I'm not even the biggest fan of soda I thought maybe I could share it with someone um, I don't know if my husband will try it he might but I just wanted to give it a try something new so let's look at the macros on these okay so this can, this is cherry cola. This can is, sorry, 50 calories. Let's get a little closer. It is zero protein, and that would be nine net carbs. I don't really know exactly what makes this healthier. Um, maybe it's the added sugar. Could that be it? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Five grams of added sugar. So, I don't know. We'll give it a try. It's something about supportive digestive health and immune health. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, this is the orange squeeze, as you can see. And this can is only 45 calories. It is zero protein and... This one's only, what would that be? Uh, five net carbs. So we will give those a try. I've had this one before. I drink about a third of it at a time. I put some ice in a glass, pour it over it. It tastes delicious. So this flavor particularly, which is, you probably can't even see it, peach nectarine, really, really good. So let's see, the whole bottle is five calories. I'm so sorry, you can't even see that. <laughs> let's see if we zoom in, there we go, a little better. So it's five calories for the whole bottle. Of course, everything's zero, but again, it's just when I want something other than water. And yeah, this is going in my fridge right now. This is kind of the miscellaneous section. So just a can of black beans. Let's see the macros on that. Half a cup is 130 calories. Uh, so sorry. Um, it is eight grams of protein, 130 calories for half a cup, in case I didn't say that. <laughs> and it is 17 net carbs. So yeah, I like to have this sometimes as a side dish. I'll make sort of a corn salsa or sometimes I just add it if I have my own little tacos or I'll wrap it up in a wrap with some eggs in the morning. I usually stick to about a quarter of a cup for the serving. No other reason except they're very filling and I always have them with something else. This is another thing I always have in my cabinet, the no sugar added Mott's applesauce, my favorite. I always have one of these with my pork, just a thing. It's almost like a sauce to me. So we're actually having pork tonight. So I'll take one of these out and I'm gonna saute up some mushrooms and I'm not sure about our side dish yet. We'll see, but now I have plenty of choices. And this was one of the free items when you bought that big chicken. So these are like almost $3 a bag. So to get it for free, I was super happy. I don't know that I would have tried it otherwise, but it's brown jasmine rice with cilantro and a hint of lime. Sounds delicious. So the whole pouch they're saying is a serving. Obviously nobody's gonna eat this whole thing. So per cup, it's 250 calories, five grams of protein, that's pretty good. Very high in carbs, it's 43 net carbs, but I would probably do half a cup and it would lower everything and it's great as a side. I'd probably do this if I do like my tacos. I think one day this week we're going to make shrimp tacos, which will be good. And I always need a side. I could even add 
some of those black beans, a little corn. So yeah, for free. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you the macros on this. This is husband's corner. Um, when I wanted to buy a watermelon, I typed in watermelon on the website and this came up and I know he's gonna love it. And then he asked for some boar's head ham, boar's head Swiss, which I'll eat too sometimes. I won't do a sandwich, but I like to have made them rolled up or a little bit of Swiss cheese on my burger. I have turkey burgers and I have chicken burgers. And by the way, I bought turkey burgers from Trader Joe's and I think these were new, they're fresh. So of course you have to cook them all the way through but they had bell peppers and caramelized onions. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Then I have some Amy Lou chicken sauce, chicken burgers that my husband bought at Costco this weekend. So we got plenty of stuff for the grill. And then he likes his sandwiches on these Kaiser rolls. So yeah, this is husband's corner. What you don't see is actually all his seltzer water. He already brought that downstairs to the refrigerator. So yeah. This was my grocery haul. It feels kind of weird doing the produce last. I almost forgot. <laughs> but here are some mushrooms for tonight's dinner with the pork. I just saute these and I like them on top of my pork. I just think it tastes really good. And then here's some plum tomatoes. They don't look so flavorful, but tomatoes really aren't in season right now. So my husband likes to slice these on his sandwich. And he's okay if they're not really, really like a good tomato yet <laughs> and then two avocados and of course these are hard as a rock i'll put one in the fridge one in a paper bag for a couple days and it'll be perfect and then just one jalapeno because i have another one in the fridge and i'm going to make some mango salsa this week for those shrimp tacos and just two kiwi i've been kind of on a kiwi kick but they didn't have the golden ones so I just usually slice this up occasionally for my breakfast. I peel it and slice it. Some red onion, put it in everything. I'll put it in my salads. Um, what else do I do? Saute it, all kinds of things. But I like red onion and these look good most of the time. Sometimes when you go in the store, they don't look so great. Then here are the three peppers I was talking about. So I had ordered the yellow one and then I got that deal with the chicken. So I'm like, oh, I'll just get a green and a red and I'll have all the colors. So a couple I'll use for the fajitas, probably the green and maybe half of each of these. Then I cut up the rest for my quesadilla eggs in the morning. Then the other freebies for this chicken deal was a zucchini, very tiny, and a yellow squash. I just got a couple lemons. I think we have a couple in the fridge already. And we use them for cooking a lot, so I like to have them on hand. And then some limes for my salsa. And then I decided to buy a cabbage. This one looks so, so healthy. Healthy and fresh. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with it. I know it'll need a little bit for the shrimp tacos, but then I could just saute this. Even tonight, I could saute a little bit with the pork. Um, but yeah, just anything really. Then as I mentioned, I bought dill. So I'll put dill in my eggs sometimes, or I'll make some kind of dip or add it to that tzatziki sauce or make my own. So I just like to have dill on hand. And this is a small container. Then I bought some eggplant. And we're probably going to have Greek chicken sometime this week or next week. So I've got this. And it this lasts a pretty long time. I see there's a little dent, but that's okay. It, it's very firm and heavy for its size, so it's perfect. A little cilantro for my mango salsa. And then the skinniest, smallest <laughs> English cucumber I've ever seen. It's okay. I'll probably have to buy another one, maybe midweek or next weekend. It's really, really tiny. And I eat a lot of cucumber in all my salads. Sometimes I just dip it in the tzatziki. So yeah, I'll need another one of these. <laughs> but yeah, and then just a pack of romaine hearts, self-explanatory. And last thing is this little mini watermelon. And I've read a lot about if it has this yellow spot on it, it's supposed to be perfectly ripe. I think I'm gonna say that's true, the last few that I've gotten. 
So yeah, I'm excited to have that as my fruit for the next week or so. And my husband loves watermelon too. So yeah, and that'll do it. I kind of put a lot of stuff away. So <laughs> this is what's left to put away. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not. I do cook with me videos. I do my grocery hauls. My favorite to do is what I eat in a day. And as you might already know or not know, I've lost 47 pounds so far and counting on a high protein diet. That's why I kind of showed you the protein and I'm also in a calorie deficit. That's why I shared the calories with you. So I hope you have a great night, everyone.